Well, hello, my YouTube family. I am, I am tired, but I'm not drained tired. This is a great week, people, to the point of I'm almost afraid to say slightly boring, but not so much so because I'm always doing something and the phone never stops. So, and, I, and today I, I didn't have to do that stupid call project that I have to apparently do on Tuesdays. Didn't have to do it today, and I have a feeling it's because she's not in this week. So, that's a wonderful thing. But, um, if you don't see me next Tuesday, <clears throat> you know, a little chest cold perhaps. We shall see. The jury is still out. Um... Okay, so I am wearing a lipstick that will be the last time I'm wearing the lipstick because I think it's going south. Um, well, let us start off with the lip liner. The lip liner is Jordana Cabaret. And I may have to get another one of these soon, too, because this one is slowly but surely becoming a nub. And that is aligned. And filled. It's it's an oldie, so it is about time for it to, to finally bid itself farewell. Um, this one is a Revlon Moisturous Lip Color in Wet Wet Red. One of my favorites. I had worn it before. It is one of those lipsticks that stays shiny. And this one actually moisturizes. Believe it or not. It does actually moisturize. So, and of course they don't make them anymore. But you can find them on Amazon. Maybe not this particular shade, but a couple of other shades. You see how it's straight? I cut it this morning because it was getting kind of, the only the only way I could describe it is kind of nubby. Like, remember the whole, um, I really hate to, put it out there. But remember the whole Jaclyn Hill debacle with her lipsticks looking kind of grainy and this is what's happening with this one. And I think it's because it's about time. It, it's spoiled. It's, it's it's gone south. So this is Wet Wet Red. And this is Wet Wet Red. And say goodbye to Wet Wet Red. Because this is the last time you're going to see it. So, that is it. That is it. I'm not shedding a tear because you have a million and one lipsticks. And a thousand and one of them are red. So, I can always probably duplicate this somehow, some way. I know. I, I can't think of one right off the top of my head. But I'm sure I've got a ton of other red lipsticks that look exactly like this. Maybe not the exact formula, which is the wonderful thing about this lipstick, but you can't win them all, right? So this is Wet Wet Red. This is Wet Red Red. And say goodbye to Wet Wet Red. I don't know if you can see. It's getting kind of grainy. See, it's getting kind of nubby and grainy. Spoiled. I would I, I, I would call it, it's gotten spoiled. So that's just that. With that upon that. There's no stories because she's not in. And I pretty much just online on my phone all day long. I play solitaire. I occasionally look at an occasional um, uh, YouTube video. I definitely do that during my lunch hour. I go in my car and I catch up with my um, Josh Prey. He is a trip and a half. I love him. So I catch up with his videos to have a good laugh and some other stuff. I've been like, is tonight or tomorrow night, the Basketball Wives reunion, there's a lot of clips about that and the whole Evelyn Lozada suing OG and 
It's just a whole mess. It's just a whole mess. The bottom line to me, and I'm not the only one who feels this way, is the bottom line that OG, uh, Evelyn has finally met her match in OG. Because OG ain't sitting, sh sitting still for Evelyn's nonsense. But on the other hand, I've also read that OG is not exactly um, clean in all of this either. She apparently has an ego the size of Texas. And, like, why? I don't understand. I've read that she's got a bit of an attitude problem, that she's been giving people behind the scenes a whole lot of unnecessary, I'm superior and, and you should bow down to me kind of an attitude. Excuse you? So, both of them are both bad apples in the bunch, but Shawnee... She'll kick OG out in a heartbeat. Evelyn is a baby, especially now that we have no more Tammy. So Evelyn has now filled in that slot. You know, the crazy cuckoo slot. Not to say that Tammy was crazy cuckoo, but she, in the earlier seasons, would fight in the, in, in the drop of a hat. So now Evelyn fills that slot. But I cannot wait to see the reunion because apparently OG may not be in the reunion. CC may not be in the reunion. I think Jackie walks off the, the reunion. Who else is left? Who else is left sitting there? So we shall see. I, I just, and if you hear stuff in the background, that's my father in the garage. The window is open. So he's doing God knows what in the garage. I, I I just came straight up. I normally, I didn't even notice that he was in the garage. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm all over the place myself. But I just wanted to explain the noise in case you hear some background sawing when he's using his saw machine. And then there's this one. He's looking at Pop in the backyard. So there you have it. So either tonight is Basketball Wise reunion. I think it's tonight, if I'm not mistaken. It's Tuesday, right? And then, yeah, I think it's, I think it's tonight. Or maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. It could be tonight. And then I think tomorrow night is I'll be in Chicago for the most part. And then there's a, also Real Housewives of OC. You know who I'm getting tired of in that in that show? Vicky. Why? Why does she always have to talk about other people? Like, you've been in enough trouble. You've been on the show enough times to realize that when you... Repeat something that you claim you heard from somebody else. You know that shit is going to turn around on your ass and kick you straight up. So why do you continue to do that? Oh, I heard that. No, 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 boo-boo. If you didn't... Mm -mm. Don't repeat things that you heard from a third source, a third-party source. And it's never good news. It's always something bad about somebody within the OC circle. She hasn't learned her lesson still. Anyway, back to the whole Evelyn and OG thing. I think it's tonight. And I'm all here for it. So we shall see. We shall see what we shall see. I really wish this reunion would be two hours because apparently there's there, there really is a lot to be explained and talked about and straightened out. So we shall see. In the meantime, that is it. That is all. Um... This is Lips of the Day. 
Um, I got compliments. Lately, since I've been wearing some eyeshadow, as you can see, um, I'm wearing this one, Coastal Sense um, Rainstorm. And it's this blue one right here. Still a sample. I love these samples. This, this one right here. Gorgeous cobalt blue. It's not even a cobalt blue, but it's a nice blue. And it goes with everything I'm wearing. So, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I'm wearing my foundation. The LA Girl Pro Foundation. Um, I got a compliment today. I was very, very happy about that. I seem to always get compliments whenever I'm wearing this blue shirt. So especially when I pop it with a red. Pop with a red, blue. I color coordinate people. You know this. Okay? So that is it. That is all. This is the lips of the day. Let me put this one back here. He doesn't know whether to muffin, whether to pay attention to what Pop is doing in the backyard. Anyway, that is it. That is all. Um, if any of you are watching Basketball Wives, please hit me up and, and let me know how you feel about how this season went down. I do like, I, I still like, because there's going to be no more Tammy. Tammy has left the show as of this last season. So she is no longer a basketball wife. The show will not be the same without her. So I think Evelyn acting the way she is, is trying to fill those shoes. Boo -boo. There can only be one Tammy Roman and you not it. So I, she's trying to fill that slot and I don't know if if, if Shawnee is going to be bringing back anybody then again there's the whole Jennifer thing Jennifer barely showed up this season because they didn't bring her to any of the trips because she has a beef with practically everybody and she's another untrustworthy one I don't trust her as far as I can throw her Every time somebody says Jennifer said something, then they confront Jennifer and Jennifer's like, no, I didn't say it. And then later on down the line, it's like, yes, I said it. Well, bitch, which one is it? And then she acts all tough and mm -mm, I, I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. Especially two seasons back when they were in Amsterdam. And Evelyn confronted Jennifer about the whole, what did you say about Shawnice? Shawnice is Evelyn's daughter. And Malaysia straight up just told Evelyn the whole thing and told Jennifer that she was going to tell Evelyn the whole thing. Apparently Jennifer has loose lips and she doesn't think that her words are going to slap her back in her face either. I don't know what is up with these women. Like, you you on this show long enough to realize that if you start talking about somebody, you know it's going to come back to you, right? And it's never pretty. Especially what you are saying about this other person is not complimentary in the least. Makes for great television, I must admit. I, I You know, I'll be the first. But y'all should know. Keep your mouth shut. But then if everybody kept their mouth shut, there wouldn't be a show. I get it. I get it. I get it. Anyway, tune in tonight. I have a feeling tonight is Basketball Wives Reunion. So I don't know if it's going to be a part one, part two situation. We shall see. Um, so that is it. That is all. I am going to change into my comfy cozies and uh, wait it out until Basketball Wives. I think it's at 8 o'clock. But we shall see. I don't know. All right. So that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. Unfortunately, it's the last of this particular uh, lipstick, which was Revlon Moisturous Lipstick in Red, Wet, Wet, Red. 
I loved this shade. I loved I loved this formula because it was almost like a gel-like consistency. Very nice, very plushy, and very comfortable on the lips. This one was actually moisturizing, and it had it held its shine. It was very very nice. But alas, it is time to bid it a farewell, and so it must go. And this is the last you'll see of Wet Wet Red. And so that's it. That is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. Um, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about, if any of you are watching Basketball Wives, let me know what you think about that. And, um, you know, let me know what you think about this, and I will talk to you tomorrow, okay? I love you. Mwah. Bye now.